Hi guys, uh, this is Vikas from Networkers Home and uh, today I'm really glad to present to you the CCI Enterprise Infrastructure Review of uh, the exam, lab exam, what are the changes, what are the new things. So we'll, let's get started. So there are two questions that comes to mind when we see at uh, this exam. What The first is what's new and the second challenge that we have is after knowing the content, what's new, how to prepare for it, right? So let's see what is new. We have uh, five sections in total. These are the five sections of uh, the CCI Enterprise Infrastructure Lab exam. And uh, also I'll take you to cisco.com so that we can see it in detail here. So there are five sections, network infrastructure. The first one, let's expand this section and see what is there. Is the same traditional routing and switching stuff that you have. Same your STP, UDLD guard, VLANs, uh, ether channels, spanning tree, then you have routing, VRF, uh, aware routing, then you have EIGRP, uh, OSPF, both version 2 and version 3, BGP, again, these are all protocols in IPv4 and v6, as we know it, so it's the same uh, stuff and the multicasting, of course. Uh, so we can say that it's the same, right? First 30% is exactly the same, no change. And uh, let's go to the second one. Now, second one is we see something new here, software defined infrastructure. So here you see that the first thing that we have is Cisco SD access, right? Which means essentially you need to have a Cisco DNA center uh, to uh, implement or to learn this particular technology. The second one we have is Cisco SD van. And uh, then we will also have Cisco ice and other things we need to have. We need to know and we need to have it in the environment because it is basically part of the SD access itself, right? So three new technologies we can say that uh, Cisco SD access, Cisco ICE, Cisco SD WAN. These three technologies were never there in the previous routing switching exam. They were never covered in any of the exam except CCI security used to have or wireless used to have Cisco ICE, but that has been included to Cisco WAN. And it's a huge percentage. If you look at the score wise, it's like 25% of the score. Right, so that's a huge percentage. Uh, let's go to the next one where we have MPLS and DMVPN 15%. So that's a pretty good scoring. If you are familiar with these technologies, which are there, which were there on the routing switching also. So those who prepared for routing and switching, they will find it easy to grab these 15 marks. So no big deal here. Let's see the infrastructure security and services, which is again. Uh, if we look at it, it's almost the same content, right? There's absolutely nothing new except the small items probably you will have here. Like you have in system management, you have uh, rest com for net com, uh, you know, for management purpose. But most of the other stuff uh, I see was there in the previous routing switching version, except that Cisco iOS XE was not there. So now that is iOS XE is also there part of it. 15 marks for it. And uh, then we have the last section here, which is uh, infrastructure automation and programmability and 15 marks for it, right? So this is, again, for the first time, you're going to use Python into your environment, CCI lab exam. You are also going to see uh, NetCon for Yang and other things with uh, this uh, particular section. And uh, basically, you need to have pretty good skill because the CCI level exam, right? Remember that it's known as CCNA level exam. So you need to have a lot of hands on before you get it right. And the biggest challenge that we are going to have is how do we prepare ourselves with these kind of equipment? Because they are pretty expensive and not available on GNS especially or EV and all that. So uh, this is going to be a big bit of challenge to students. But I'm pretty sure that a lot of companies are preparing their racks for you. And, uh, you know, you will be able to rent the racks, etc. So essentially, if you look at it, it's uh, somewhere like uh, 30, sorry, 25 plus 15, that's 40 percent marks, right, are dependent on the new technology, which is Cisco SD access, Cisco SD van, uh, Cisco ice, and then you have Python, NetConf, or any kind of API programming, in fact, but they generally focus on these uh, couple of technologies to implement it. So that's about it, guys. Uh, this is uh, again is the same thing. You have eight hours exam. The format is almost same. The only change you have is these 
two new technologies and the score which is basically it's not a small change it's like 40 percent of the score depends on the new technologies so a lot of preparation on those sides are required and uh, i'm sure that a lot of companies are preparing for their workbooks and uh, you know the students have already started in that particular direction in fact we at networkers home has already started preparing ourselves in the same direction and if you basically check at our website we have a program which is uh, covering a lot of technologies here we have added them as additional modules and uh, you know with the cci enterprise this is basically a, a freshers program uh, but we do have cisco dna center cisco sd van we made them as separate modules and then we have ansible python puppet and chef and you know whatever is uh, the part of the, including the python uh, in detail kind of training so that's all for this video guys uh, thank you very much